Ooh, fuck me. You're kidding me, suck you. I somehow got stuck there. Okay. I did not expect that, I'll admit. That one was not expected. Not at all. I admit, genius play on that one.
Question. The amount of shit on the ground. Holy fuck. Oh shit. Okay. Now back to collecting it. Keyword should. adorable what the hell are you rambling on about what bush the one you took the polymer canister from handsome you mean that overgrown hemlock plant what's cute about it i like the way it strangles people with its tendrils they pop like bubble wrap oh so cute say one more fucked up thing about killing people and i'll tear you a new one no you won't big guy who's going to pleasure you if you do then I'll rip out your voice module to shut you up. Cholas will fix it. But I love it when you talk like that. Scold me. Yes, tell me off harshly. Shut up. Okay. Ugh. Let's do this. Oh, wrong way. There we go. Okay. Alrighty. Storage assembly. There we go. It can speed. This whole stuff is there. Okay. Let's put one down here. And we should be good. Another safety save. Charles, they didn't used to monkey around with the birch tree like this all the time, did they? Indeed. The birch tree is first and foremost a symbol. Although it does require a certain amount of careful tending, every two days. So every other day you gotta run around collecting four different canisters? Ugh, what a pain in the ass. 
<laughs> and yeah, that's just how it is. All right. To read the reports from the Americans at Langley. Ah, here. Their sources really outdid themselves this time. We had such a wonderful time reading about the uh, mysterious new hydraulic solutions employed in so party property. Damaging, disappropriating, right. or handing said equipment over to third party. Oh, Why is this open though? What the fuck? I don't know. <laughs> I guess it is what it is. Alrighty. Now that we're done with that. These are one in there. Biopolymer canister connected. Great. The birch tree's thawing out. Optimal temperature has been restored. And then pesticide polymer canister connected. I hate all parasites, human or otherwise. At least the tree can breathe easy now. The pests have been eliminated, and the birch tree has returned to me. The power generator is now fully operational. Power supply restored. Yay! Can I go back? Done. The gate is open. We can leave the Vavilov complex now. Fucking finally. If I ever see another goddamn canister, it'll be too soon. Huh. That's true. Okay. Is there anything else here? There is not. Okay. We what? did it, Comrade Major. Slow your roll, Glove. I did it. I provided moral support. Yeah, whatever. I guess you helped a little. How are you feeling? That question doesn't really apply to me, but thank you for your concern. I am fine. Are we ready to leave now? I am fine. Yeah, sure. Actually, hold on. Hold on. I want to check something out first. Uh, is there... Oh, these are just locked. Okay. I thought, like, you could still go in them. Never mind. But let me actually do a quick double check in this room at least. Oh, nice. Okay, so that's how you do the roll. Cool. Since it looks like everything is fine. We'll go. Well, are we ready now? Yes. Let's go. Okay. Charles, how did Cheriton Zaharov die? Under mysterious circumstances. Dr. Sechenov is the only one who knows the details of his demise. Mysterious circumstances, huh? Dr. Sechenov really didn't tell anybody what happened? He did. The story is that Professor Zaharov slipped and fell into a lab bath full of a hazardous experimental neuropolymer. Ah, oh, shit. Poor bastard. What's so mysterious about that? Some people are puzzled by certain aspects of the story. Like what? Due to a bizarre concatenation of circumstances, no footage of this fateful moment was ever recovered, even though the labs are always monitored. Well... Shit happens, right? Sometimes cameras break, or data doesn't get recorded. That is entirely possible. Another peculiarity is that the polymer in question isn't hazardous at all. There's no way it could kill someone. You yourself love to swim in it. Ah, oh, okay. But maybe that polymer was a unique experimental sample or something. Like, a dangerous strain. That is also entirely possible. But wouldn't Professor Zaharov have known that the experimental sample he was working with was dangerous? He created it himself, after all, along with Dr. Sechenov. This is seriously messed up. I think there's a point that he's bringing this up, because honestly, it does sound really suspicious. Like, look, I'm not gonna fault the guy for being like, ooh, this is something very important, but... Like, you know... It is sus as fuck. You you can't deny that, you know. 
You just can't. It doesn't make any sense. Like, oh, he died. Okay. How did he die? He slipped. The most unfortunate peculiar. We need to go to Lesnaya Station and take the train to Solitznaya. We will continue on foot from there. And where are we supposed to find this station? It's on the other side of the village we're now in. Let's go. All right. God. Well, that's the robot taken care of. Please select the desired procedure. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do this. How much did I get? 78. Okay. I kind of want to do... No, we already got that. Cut both of these. We're just like, yeah, we can do that. Resistance for the sink. I kind of want this. I like how I was just like never bothered with this stuff after that. Actually, mass telekinesis could be interesting. And the poly polymeric jet. These two I might use. These two I'll have to check out. Actually, better yet, let's check this one out now. Actually, so cute. Just so I don't accidentally just spam it all the time. Okay. Pull it. Polymeric jet. Use polymer to enhance the effects of freezing fire and electricity. Apply polymer to a surface or pour it directly onto your enemies. What, like... Oh. Not like napalm? Honestly, that's kind of lame. A little bit. Kinda hoping it was like napalm. Oh, wait, I didn't even hit the save function. Fuck. Okay, here we go. Saving data. Safety save. Alright. So let's check this out. Rules for using the Vavilov Complex Emergency Exit. This in exit is intended for exiting complex in the event of emergency. Sounds like I fit the deal on that one. Entry and exit by graduate students and complex employees residing in Forester Village. I do not reside in Forester Village. Right. Okay, entry and exit by service personnel. Important since the entrance is near the Babylon Complex's main entrance. Some employees have been using it to cut the line and get into work more quickly. While their zeal is commendable, all employees are required to punch in at the beginning of their shifts. Any anyone who is not who is not covered by points one, two, or three above and does not use the main entrance will receive an official reprimand. Nice. Okay, read this message the first time you punch in. You are an employee of the Vavilov Complex, the, bre the breadbasket of the Soviet Union and the entire world. Un working under v Comrade Vavilov is one of the most important duties, not only for your con fellow countrymen, but for the mankind as whole. Attend to your appearance, manners, and relationship with co-workers. Do not permit careless, disorderly, or parasitic behavior. Keep your workspace clear. Do not discuss your work outside of the complex. Thank you and have a an pleasant day. The damn thing sprang up overnight. Okay. <laughs> Delete this and Matt immediately after reading uh, Georgie. Some kind of gross plant is just starting to grow in my garden. It literally sprang out overnight. It looks like, I don't know, some type of evil eggplant or something. It's making hissing sounds, eats my strawberries, and generally acts like a little brat. I'm not really much of a gardener, so I'm worried. I'm really more of a cow guy. Could you see if they can send me some pesticide or something so I can spray this thing in ugly broccoli looking face? I need to take it out without hurting my lilies. Could this thing be some kind of poisonous weed, like chemlock, but worse? Maybe that's how it actually got in there, huh? What the fuck? Oh my god, there's so many of these fucking things, Jesus. Alright. 
Next Monday, June 13th, 1955, the triumphal launch of Collective 2.0 will take place. However, due to the work schedules of employees residing in the village, not everyone will be able to go to the VDHN. Or sorry, VDNH. So please celebrate where you are. Here's the schedule. 1 p.m. Workday ends. 1 to 2 p.m. Lunch. 2 p.m. Gather in the auditorium slash town square slash foyer. 3 p.m. Speeches by senior managers. Celebration. Broadcasts of speeches by faculty managers. 4.30 p.m. Launch of Collective 2.0. 6 p.m. Celebratory dinner. In the cafeteria or foyer. For our graduate students. Please have a talk with the new graduate students who will be staying at the village. Please also set up the following activities. Screen of a film about the history of the complex and the facilities. Don't talk about the history of the village. Seminar on safety. Assign specialists to their accommodations. Put club president V... Oh, P. Savalieva in charge. That sounds right. Ole. I just got a really weird message, Polina. Remember when our kitty... Pulled the, raised that bowl on polymer-based foods. You know, the one named Hercules who was big as a house? It was in the papers and everything. Anyway, some pictures of the bull somehow got leaked abroad and made their way to get this, some Spanish cattle breeders. Yeah, I'm serious. Spanish cattle breeders. To make a long story short, they want to order a few of our bovine behemoths for their corredo, or whatever they call it. You know, bullfighting. International friendship and all that. I don't know who to talk to about this, or even what to think, but I don't know. Maybe the bosses will take an interest. I'm still in shock. Uh, yeah, they're gonna take an interest in it, and um, you're gonna you're gonna figure out what it's like to disappear. Oh, son of a bitch! Shit, Chelas, what are they doing? They're repairing broken robots. The more Chelas there are. The sooner the damaged unit will be fixed. They're not currently dangerous. You can keep going. Just ignore them. Yeah, but those guys are. I think I'll wait. One of them has a camera. I'd rather not have it see me. The Hawk Relay and Wind Catcher WTG. The Hawk is the ecosystem regional uplink. It stays in the air powered by the wind generator. A Hawk can be controlled via a terminal. Any hostile activity picked up by the Dandelion CCTV cameras will result in sending a level 2 alert to the nearest robot assembly plant, calling for reinforcements. Okay. The there are cameras everywhere. Where do they send the stuff they see? Information from the security cameras is sent directly to the airborne robot control hub, known as the Hawk. Right. So, what will the Hawk do if I end up on camera? If you're detected, the Hawk will sound a level 1 alarm, and all nearby robots will converge on your current location. If a camera sees you attacking a robot, a level 2 alarm will be activated, and the Hawk will deploy additional forces. Okay, so let's, uh, let's play a game, shall we? How do I know the current alert level? Your polymer retina is equipped with an alert level indicator. We're playing a very fun game of and sneaky, <clears throat> or trying to without being a dick. <clears throat> okay, here, chicky. Right. Find an exit from the village. Lovely. Those aren't that big of a deal. That's a big deal. 
glad that we can actually like be very, very. Like... Which other facility robots are dangerous? All of them, I suppose. Other than the Terish Cobras, as they operate autonomously and are not connected to the network. So the central hub infiltrated by Patrol out. does not have access to the Terish Cobras. Yeah. At least someone here isn't trying to kill me. Thanks. For nothing. Okay. Well, that's great. Should be fine. Amazing poly hairstyles for her wedding. Could you do that for me too? Pretty please? You know, the kind where it's one style in the morning and then it's different in the evening, and the color changes and everything. Everybody's gonna be there for the collective update. All our bosses and maybe even some foreigners. I don't wanna look all frumpy. Oh, and grab me some poly nail polish too, okay? I want my nails to change with my mood. Poly sure are amazing for beauty stuff, huh? It's just firing off shots and no one gives a shit. Sakes. The hell is it? I guess this was a... So stealthy. 